When Susan and Glue Clark hit emotional rock bottom in the 90s, even though she was winning Junos, she realized she could no longer sit on the sidelines and coach through her life and career. Uh, I decided that it was time to stop being afraid of my own potential and engage in my life. And, and the steps towards engaging uh, vary between each person. Uh, it's not one of these things that happens overnight. It's just identifying um, things you can change and changing them, setting yourself on a path towards changing them. And it's not an overnight thing. Um, and letting go of the things you can't. It's just that simple. I think if we can pass this on to as many of our youth as possible, what we can see happening in those respective nations or communities could be pretty incredible. She was speaking at the Catholic Principals Council of Ontario Symposium on Aboriginal Education. Glue Clark said events like this are critical in bridging the issues between the Aboriginal community and all religions. Lives can be turned around and past forgotten, allowing Aboriginal youth to start over and have a better future, all of which can be accomplished by bringing the Aboriginal history and culture into the classroom. Uh, when I left uh, small town Nunavut, um, I, as I said, I left uh, very angry and resentful, not towards the culture, but I had, to, I had to leave and start over in order to fully appreciate what I had left behind. It took this career for me to realize I come from an incredible culture, some of the most resilient, strong, determined people, um, and it gave me a whole new sense of belonging and pride that I was given this opportunity to speak for them, to stand up for them, to, uh, to, to be able to write from that experience, you know. And when you come to that place, young people, uh, when they come to the place of really appreciating their history and their culture, it's like a, a, a foundation clicks into place. Okay, I know where I am, I know who I am, and that's enough for me to start from. And the educators agree. As leaders, we're called to serve, and part of our role to serve the students in our care is to really learn about culture and heritage. And to serve our Aboriginal students, we need to be really empowered. We really need to know some of the history, some of the culture, and by doing that, we can provide an educational setting that best meets those needs. She said the solution can be as easy as writing your goals and achieving them one at a time. It was as simple as um, knowing that I wanted this life. And this life is not necessarily the status. It's not necessarily the, the famous person life. Um, it was just the person it was exposing. I liked who I was becoming as a result of this engaging in my life. And I would encourage young people to um, identify openly um, find somebody you trust and say, listen, I want to be a nurse, I want to be a doctor, I want to be a teacher, I want this, I want that, can you help me set the right goals towards that end? Um, and finding the right people and a support group is enough for them to start making these steps towards that one. Mandy Hargrave, NorthernLife.ca.